for this example, again, to find the inverse, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you could, um, basically, we already have the set for y, so therefore we can swap our variables. Now we just need to solve for y. So again, we need to use our inverse operations. So far, you see this y, it's being added by 4 and it's being squared, but that's all inside the parentheses. First thing I want to do is undo the adding of 4 on the outside. So I have x plus 4 equals y plus 4 squared. Then I need to make sure I undo the squaring before I can get inside the parentheses. So I take the square root of both sides. Please remember, when you introduce the square root, you have to do the plus or minus. So I have plus or minus the square root of x plus 4 equals y plus 4. Because this, how do I distribute what? You could. I mean, but you're trying to, you're trying to solve for y. So distributing is going to make that y squared plus 4y plus 16. It's not really going to help you solve for y. You're, to solve for y, you're trying to undo everything that's happening to it, right? So rather than applying squaring, I want to undo the squaring by taking the square root. Does that kind of make sense? So now I just subtract the 4, and I have uh, plus or minus the square root of x plus 4 minus 4 equals y. Or I could write f inverse of x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of x plus 4. So therefore, now what I basically did is I just rewrote my y as f inverse of x equals negative 4 plus or minus the square root of x plus 4. Now, if you guys look at this problem, if I choose a number for x, right? let's choose the number 0 again. If you plug in 0 into this function, are you gonna is there a possibility to have two different answers for y? Yes, because now you have to do plus or minus. You guys see that? So anytime you are solving for the function and you include a plus or minus, that is not going to give you your function, is, or sorry, your inverse is not a function. So you could just basically write f inverse is not a function. Or answer for b section, it would be no. Do you guys kind of see the difference between those two? The first example, whatever you plugged in for x, you're going to get an answer for y. That's a function. 